What is going on guys? Grave here today. We're going to talk about what I think is the best elite class in Battlefield 1. And of course that is the Tank Hunter uh, elite class. And as you can see, it's not a sniper rifle. It's not a regular rifle. It is an anti-vehicle weapon. It is iron sights. It does have to be reloaded after every shot. It is a one-shot kill to infantry no matter where you hit them. And it does more damage to vehicles of any type than the AT rocket gun on the assault class. You do have a double barrel shotgun as your backup, which as you can see right there has good range and it is a good viable secondary in case you get in a sticky situation. The reason I say that is you can get in a lot of sticky situations with this because it's a little more difficult to use than some of the other elite classes because you either have to be on a ledge with your bipod out or you have to be lying down to fire the weapon. You cannot st fire the weapon from standing, so you always have to be on a ledge or lying down. If, it is a thing that spawns on, of course, like any other elite class, it spawns on a particular flag on every map. You know, there's always a certain flag that these things spawn on. On the map that I'm on now, of course, it is the G flag, so always keep that in mind. I wouldn't recommend camping to get it, but it is definitely something that you need to pick up if you see it. Of course, if you're on this flag, I'm on, uh, map I'm on now, it's going to be on the D flag. And it's it, when it comes out, guys, or when it drops, this is like any of the other elite classes. You know, let's say a, a sentry kit's near, a flame trooper kit is near. It will tell you that a vehicle kit is near or an anti-vehicle kit is near. And that's what this thing is made for. It's really made for vehicles, but of course it is very, very good to pick off infantry. It's a little bit difficult to use because of the iron sights. You can cover them up with the pin, especially, like I said, you can kill them at any range. But just be kind of smart with your shots. Don't always use them just for infantry. Definitely save some for uh, vehicles because you do not have an infinite amount of ammo and you don't have an infinite amount of health. You're not like the sentry kit. Uh, you can get shot and, and killed pretty quickly, so keep that in mind. You are very mobile. You're not slow like you are with the sentry kit until you have to lay down and fire or, you know, post up in a window. Always be moving. Always keep kind of moving around, even if you're close to the same area, because you're very vulnerable. You know, you can get stabbed in the back, shot in the back or anything like that. You don't have a good, you know, line of sight behind you or a lot of awareness behind you. But if you can use this thing properly, it is absolute blast to use. Like I said, it is the best elite class to me, hands down. And it, it will just destroy vehicles. So, And like I said, with no scope on there, with no glare or anything like that, it, vehicles cannot really uh, find you really well. So you can just kind of post up somewhere and just destroy vehicles before they know what hit them. Guys, leave me a comment. Let me know, have you been using the Tank Hunter Elite class? Do you like another Elite class better? Uh, I know this is a little bit harder to use. But once you get the hang of it, it is, like I said, the best and it's very, very useful. So definitely pick it up next time you see it drop. If you definitely haven't tried it out yet, I'll highly recommend it. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.